for those that don't know anything about my story, in 2006, I was, as I said, as happy as I think any woman could be. My family was strong. My marriage felt strong. Our church was as vibrant and full of life and healthy as I thought it could be. And then I discovered that my husband had a secret life, that he had been involved in sexual immorality and illicit drugs. And that was the most shocking thing I think that I could have ever heard. I felt as though the rug had literally been pulled out from under me. And we began at that time a process of learning each other's stories, each other's struggles, of becoming increasingly intimate with each other and discovering God's tremendous love for us. The reason I wrote my story is because I felt as though people don't know it. There's been so much out in the media, so many people have written blogs, people have weighed in their opinions and judgments when they really don't know the story, and they certainly don't know it from my perspective, but they also really don't know Ted's story, and so I wanted to reveal that in this book. The subtitle of my book is The Choices I Made in My Darkest Hour, and certainly those first few nights were the darkest hours of my life, and during those hours I had to determine who I am and who I am going to be in this story of our crisis and our future life together. And so I had to make choices. And I think during that first couple of nights as I lay awake in bed thinking through the pain and the heartache and certainly the consequences of the things my husband had revealed to me, I had to decide, can I forgive my husband? And because I so believe that God is who He says He is and that Jesus does empower us to do the things He's taught us to do, I decided absolutely I, I am going to forgive my husband. So on this side of our crisis, I feel as though our relationship is better than it ever was before. And it's because I did the things that I knew Jesus told me to do. I forgave and I love and we're together and our family's together and we're stronger and I feel we're the better for it. After our crisis, I felt as though I had been thoroughly ravaged by the knowledge that I've gained from my husband and the struggles that had been going on privately in him. But the wonderful thing about that was that he told me about it and we started the process of working on it and we walked through forgiveness, we walked through love covering the multitude of sins, we walked through growing in intimacy together and that was a wonderful healing experience and I feel we're the better for it. The sad part of my story though was that we were separated from the church during that time. And that was equally ravaging for me because I so loved the church. I so loved the body of Christ. I never dreamed that I would be separated from the people that I had so much history with. And so now that we feel as though God has, has really brought us a long way in our process, we're grateful to have our voices back and to be able to speak to what a, an amazing story this is. And I think that's one of the reasons that I felt so compelled to write this book, because I felt as though people needed to know what an amazing story this is. It's an amazing story of a man's journey in God. It's an amazing story of God answering not only my husband's prayers for freedom from the struggles that were going on inside of him, but also to give me the, the level of intimacy in my marriage that I'd longed for. And as wonderful as our marriage was, I knew there was a wall there, and I wanted to be closer to my husband, more intimate and open with him. And God's given that to us in this process. 